Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I also try to talk a very important topic on agriculture precision. Basically in this part I also talk about that monitoring crop water needs using evapotranspiration in Google Earth Engine. How we can really use the evapotranspiration using remote sensing technique and then we can easily find out that crop water need. Monitoring crop water needs using remote sensing in Google Earth Engine is a vital achievement efficient of water management, enhancing the crop health and yield and saving the cost. So today's session I also talk about that how we can easily monitor the crop water needs using evapotranspiration and also make the temporal chart of water needs using evapotranspiration. I will explain all of things from step by step then I hope you can easily learn all of details about that monitoring crop water needs using evapotranspiration in Google Earth Engine. So let's go. So first of all evapotranspiration. Evapotranspiration is the sum of evaporation of from the soil and transpiration from plants. It's the key parameter in determining crop water needs. And evapotranspiration data can be derived from the remote sensing platform using various algorithm and model. So basically, uh, we are used the different types of model to identify the evapotranspiration result. So here you can see this type of model, penman monted equation, then surface energy balance algorithm for land, Sibel, as well as also mapping the evapotranspiration at the high resolution with the in internalized calibration met uh, method. So this type of method we are also used and then we can easily find out that evapotranspiration. So I also discuss about the later all of method one by one, how we can easily use all of method and monitoring the evapotranspiration. So in this session I talk about that surface energy balance algorithm for land using the Sibel. This algorithm we try to use and then find out that evapotranspiration. And then we also uh, monitoring the crop water needs and also calculate the temporal chart. So here you can see this was one kind of map. Here we can already create it. We can get this type of uh, crop water needs. Even it is the millimeter. So you can easily get it. You can see this type of crop or this type of vegetation need the more water. Okay, we can get red color identify. And also you can see about this type of yellow color. It's mainly identify about the low water needs. And also you can get this type of color, you can get that middle or we can easily get this from this color bar. We can easily identify about that the sequence of the crop water needs. And also you can see about that this is the time series chart about that. Basically you can get this type of time series chart. From where you can easily identify about that when the evapotranspiration is the high, when the evapotranspiration is the low. So basically in the growing season, we find out that high evapotranspiration value. And the vegetative session and ripening session, you can get that low evapotranspiration value. So from the chart, we can also identify about that water needs between that in the growing season of the plant or crop. But for that, um, this time we can also see about that low in the vegetative phase and also ripening phase. We find out that low evapotranspiration value. But here you can see about that we can get the growing season at that high evapotranspiration value. Okay, so let's go. We discuss about the code one by one. And it's very important for the different purpose such as agriculture precision, agriculture uh, cost saving as well as also it also used for the enhance the crop health and yield monitoring and also water conservation, efficient water management. So there are a lot of uses to use this um, technique to monitor the water crop needs. So let's take the practical example. Just I explain one by one. So here you can see I already write the code look like that. So it show about that our map. This is our crop field. We can get here. You can see this is our study area. So for this study area, this is a, it's one kind of crop land. So in this crop land, we try to find out that um, calculate that average evapotranspiration using the Sibel method. So here you can see this type of result. Here you can see basically this type of red color identify about that high crop water needs or high value of that uh, evapotranspiration. You can find out as well as you can see. The yellow color is identified about the low, and you can easily find out that color gradient. We can easily get the result for every color. We can easily get for the result. As well as also you can see about that time series chart. Basically, this time series chart we also created in here. This time series chart. So just I open it. So from here you can easily get this type of 
result for the epoch transpiration when it will be high low or you can also download the data also from here so basically this is the process uh we can easily use this type of process and we can easily monitor the crop water needs okay for any agriculture field but we can also apply the different types of algorithm such as you can see about that uh, it's different types of algorithms such as Spanman, uh, monetization, surface energy balance algorithm for land or mapping the epipotent expression at the high resolution with the internalized calibration. So this type of method we are also use and further we also calculate the epipotent expression and then further epipotent expression you can easily calculate using the Google Earth engine as well as we can also make the temporal chart when the epipotent expression is high or low when the water needs the high you can easily get it from here. Okay. So if you want to interest to learn the lot of things about the uh, agriculture precision, then you can simply contact with me. You can easily contact in my WhatsApp, also contact in my email. You can easily get all of information from my website. Simply go to this website. I already give you this website link in the video description. Simply check it and further you can simply check all of upcoming training schedule. You can easily check it all of upcoming online training program when it will be started. And further if you want to learn about the more information, uh, suppose precision agriculture using remote sensing in Google Earth Engine. Just click on here, then you can easily get all of details about this online training program. So now this online training program is available only for the private training is available. You can easily join privately, and you can easily learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level. So here you can check all of course content basically for first week, second week, third week. All of details you can easily get from here. And further, if you want to join this online training program, simply contact in this WhatsApp number and also contact with this email. Then you further you can easily get all of information you can join all of those things okay so you can easily get all of those things from our website all of course all of course content all of details about that you can easily simply check from our website and then you can easily register our upcoming online training program okay so today's number thank you for watching that stay happy stay safe